Another powerful feature of IMPC is the idea of using tracks. Now tracks are inside a sequence. So if I tap on my sequence here, I can see that I have three bits, three sequences. But if I go to track, each sequence can have multiple tracks where I can add not only internal IMPC patterns and sounds, but also audio unit and audio tracks. So I'm gonna add a new track and it's gonna ask me, which type of tracks do you wanna add? I'm gonna say a drum track. And as you can see, now I'm track two of my sequence three, and the program says empty. So there's nothing in this program. All the pads are empty. And so what I'm gonna do is to say, I want to load a new program. And I can just go to my programs and reload my beatboxing kit too, for example. Or I can load a different kit and say I'm gonna use some tech house kit. Now since I'm on track two, now I can add another pattern or other things to the pre-existing pattern and I will have a little more control over the different tracks in terms of volume and in terms of effects. So let's go ahead, go to our timeline, and now on my track two, I'm gonna add maybe a bigger kick. Let's hear it. If I go to the mixer, I'm gonna see my tracks shown as different mixing channels. So it's very cool because I have way more control over my uh, blending and my mixing options. In the mixer window, I have control over individual tracks channel strip and also over my master fader. On individual channel strips, I have the volume, pan, access to basic EQ with highs, mids and lows and access to three cents for reverb, delay, and chorus. So I can change all these parameters while listening back to my sequence. And if I want to be more accurate with my parameter changing, I can simply quickly tap on any knob that will bring up the more precise dial that allows me to really be precise with my setting change. So let's try to change some parameters while the sequence is playing back. So as you can see, it's really simple to change these parameters in real time. My sends control three main effects that I can access through the effects tab in the lower right corner. Here I can change the parameters for my reverb, delay, chorus, and I can insert a fourth effects as inter-app audio effect. So anything that 
is installed on this iPad that can accept interrupt audio connection can be used here. If I go back to my mix, I can use my sense to add a little bit of effects. <laughs> 